He <laughs> Woo! Biggie is savage. Big brother, take your crown. Take your flowers. Biggie, you are the biggest game player of all time. Take it! Ah, Biggie, receive your accolades. What are we talking about? What are we not talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, listen, for all of you that predicted the arrangement of tonight's live eviction show, well done. Take your flowers. Take it. Yes. And ladies and gentlemen, before we get into this video proper, let me just announce to you that we have two Big Brother Ninja widows in the house at the moment. Yeah, God forbid though, not in real life. I'm talking about those ones that have shapes in the house. So just brace yourselves as you watch this video for the juicy tea that I'm about to spill. Do not skip any bit otherwise. Ha, you snooze, you lose. And if you're a new one here, thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah, but please do not leave without doing exactly what you see on your screen. And to every one of you guys, let me officially welcome you back to my YouTube channel. Hi, you are especially welcome. My name is Gloria Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Glory, and I am the girl with the T. Guys, let's get into this gist. Ibuka had started his usual questioning session with Chi Chi, you know, by virtue of the fact that she's the head of house and the supreme veto power holder of this season. He had first congratulated her on winning the head of house title at the right time this season, yes. But then he had also gone ahead to inquire about the numerous spats that she had had in the house this week, you know, with housemates like um, Rachel, like Bella, like um, Cheesy as well. And um, he had asked her the very question that everybody has been waiting to know the answer to, that is it her style of leadership or is it the housemates? And I love the way Chichi had answered that question, that it was actually everybody inclusive of herself, um, that is, that she understands that almost everybody is up for eviction this week and so the pressure of the house is quite intense, you know, but they had actually looked for their own way, you know, to get past all of the drama. And then Ibuka had moved on to Cheesy, inquiring about the accusation that Fina had made yesterday morning when they had that crazy, crazy, um, I, I can't call it altercation because it was actually Fina alone that was talking, yeah. So it doesn't really qualify to be an altercation or an argument. So let me say Fina's bashing on him yesterday morning. Um, Fina had mentioned that, oh, Cheesy had been gunning for her and Groovy since the day he got into the house. And so yesterday was a chance to get back at him. So Ibuka had asked him if Fina was right or wrong. And Cheesy had said for him, it was just a joke. He doesn't really take things too deep to heart. But then he has discovered that the kind of person Fina is, that she easily takes things like that, even light jokes, very, very serious. So he had used that opportunity to apologize to Fina and Groovy, you know, assuring them that it is not that deep. And so they should forgive him. And Erica's next question was to Brian, Mr. Emotional intelligence i mean guys this is the one person this season that is always screaming emotional intelligence and for the most part of the show we've not really seen him display right or lived up to the concepts that he's always preaching about and frankly speaking i was really excited that Ibuka threw this particular question at him so the question was that it seems as though there are two brian's this season brian of level two previous level two and brian post merger that it seems as though he's pretty calm this season now guys oh my god ebuka is the king of savagery and sarcasm according to ebuka calm is the safest word that he could use for brian at that point in time which means or could translate to be that ebuka could even mean to say that brian was being fake at this point and guys I agree with Ibuka 100% and Brian could not really answer the question straight up because he couldn't say, well, mm, he's just being himself. But guys, I loved, loved, loved that Ibuka has planted that seed of confusion in Brian's head because now at least the guy should actually rethink because everything Ibuka asks, guys, that question in fact was pregnant with so many meanings and interpretations. That question just simply says that us the viewers will be seeing how Brian has switched 
from the hot-headed Brian in level 2 to the Brian that behaves like a coward from time to time to the Brian that clicks here and there and then gravitates towards conversations that actually, you know, favors him. But anyways, moving on to the first eviction of the night. A choke. Let me be frank with you all. Even me, myself, did not see it coming that Groovy was going to be evicted. Yes. Groovy! <laughs> <laughs> Groovy was the first housemate to be evicted tonight and his eviction was so shocking that let me start with the reaction of the live audience they were shocked their faces were like <gasps> people were shocked now moving on to Fina's reaction guys Fina was crippled with shock she did not see it coming in her mind Groovy was not going anywhere she was even saying it before the show went live this evening guys Fina was shocked. We did not see if she stood up to hug Groovy, but she and Chi Chi, they, so, they were so shocked that she couldn't even get up. She was literally saying, Jesus, Jesus. I said, Fina, don't worry, it's a game. Mm? Don't worry. In one week's time, you're going to see him. But guys, I personally, I was also shocked. And I don't think I was actually ready to see Groovy leave yet. I knew that he was not going to win the show, of course, but about him leaving, to be very honest, I wasn't ready. Ibuka had gone ahead to ask Groovy that one question that's been very controversial since he started his thing with Fina. And according to Groovy, guys, he said that what he has with Fina is very genuine. Ladies and gentlemen, we know that when these housemates are on the stage with Ibuka, they say what they have in their hearts directly, but then the moment they step out and they start having their media rounds, narratives begin to shift and change so personally i'm not really holding on to what Groovy has said i'm just gonna have to wait to the end of this new week to find out now moving on to the next agenda ladies and gentlemen hey, hey! the moment adekule was called upon to sit that it was safe i lost my own training please sit yourself hey! I removed my wig, I threw it away, I put it back on my head, I removed it again, all my days guys, I was creeping my head off and to make it more savage, oh god, it seemed as though Big Brother got the memo, you know, last week that we we're all complaining that last week's eviction was too predictable, last week's eviction was so annoying, ladies and gentlemen, yes, Adekunle was safe, but guess what, Shags was called upon as the next housemate to be evicted. <laughs> point in time if the floor could open for shags to to get swallowed up by the ground it would have been better than the shame the disgrace on his face even though shags was wearing glasses guys i could see through his glasses that that guy was ashamed because adekunle has been he and bella's biggest foe this entire season so this guy even today during his diary session he had even placed a bet he said he could bet that Adekunle would not survive tonight's eviction. So guys, guess what? Adekunle survived and Shags left. Oh my days. And besides that, we have two widows in the house currently. Uh, what's her name? Fina and Bella. <laughs> Fina has been crying her eyes out over um, Groovy's eviction. Yes, and guys, I mean, the whole thing is just so ironical, you know? Two friends, two roomies that spent time together in one hotel room during the lockdown period. Groovy and Shags, they got evicted on the same night wow this eviction a choke and i love it <laughs> now shag's brief interview guys it was just as i expected um you know like i've been a fan of the show for a long time being in there is difficult you know we're young we made mistakes so i won't change anything i learned a lot is growth and i'm just happy people have blessed me number one shag's was not happy <laughs> obviously Dude did not see his eviction coming. Yeah. Dude probably saw, no, not probably, but literally saw himself in the finals with his girl, with his wifey, right? So him getting on that stage, his face was like stone cold. He was not even smiling. He was not happy. And the crowd was not really excited to see him. In fact, it was as if the crowd they were beefing him. <laughs> so <laughs> Ebuka had asked him the major question, of course, that everybody wanted to know about, like, um, if 
the thing he has with Bella is actually genuine and if he feels he needs to you know prove to people that they're actually real you know whether it's a strategy or if it's real and they're going to share well I have nothing to prove to anybody Bella's my baby I'm going to wait for her outside blah 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 let's get it I'm like okay we're, we're gonna get it <laughs> and then when they were sharing his time out in the house you know the usual recap video oh my god it was filled with so much violence so much toxicity so much negative energy like guys the the audience were not even really excited you know watching whatever they were seeing on the screen even when you would kiss bella like it was just so dry it was just so toxic you know that kind of thing it was as though the guy carried his toxicity out of the house ah, into the state Ew! i felt like puking oh my god yeah and even shed himself was not happy and the look on his face his expression showed that he wasn't even proud of himself yes he was really proud of himself and i see if Ebuka had noticed you know the, the look on his face Ebuka had asked him if there's anything you would love to change looking back now and according to him well there's nothing you would change you know the house was not easy he went in there he made a lot of mistakes and he's gonna learn blah 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 let's get it i said okay bro we don't hear we're gonna get it <laughs> We're gonna get it but anyways he said he's gonna be waiting for bella outside the house and the world will have to see what's gonna happen i said okay bro we are here waiting and then the next eviction guys there was a third eviction oh before the third eviction bella was actually safe which goes to show what i actually predicted last night um not last night yeah during our live stream yesterday um i said that Shags, if Shags leaves, Bella's gonna stay and we'll see how Shags is gonna be campaigning for Bella from outside the house. But anyways, the next eviction, guys, I was really disappointed. I was pained because I kind of was hoping that this person would get through to the finals. I'm talking about Hermes. So Hermes turned out to be the third housemate to be evicted tonight. And sadly, Hermes is not getting through to the finals. <laughs> this guy is loved. This guy is loved. To her maze's brief interview with Ibuka on the stage, guys. I laughed, I fainted, I woke up again and again and again. Repeat, guys, it was crazy. I mean, the moment Ibuka had asked her maze that um, is Alison now officially becoming a part of the family. Oh my god, <laughs> guys, it was so funny! It was so funny. But according to her maze, they're gonna have conversations when he gets out of the house. Be very honest, that was the only thing I could hear because this guy was literally speaking his funne and Big Brother had actually corrected him during his diary session today when he was misyanning and miscapping. So, um, guys, one thing I actually noticed about her maze coming on the stage, standing right there, speaking with Ibuka, her maze is loved. He is loved. I mean, if you compare his grand entrance and his exit, compare it to Shex one tonight, you will see the clear disparity. Oh my God. It was just so much joy and guys, I was looking at Hermes like I said, okay, fine, for real. I'm going to miss this guy's weirdness in that house. I'm going to miss his vibe. I'm going to miss his energy. I'm going to miss his morning workout routines, guys. That guy is loved, for real. One person I did not mention that had a brief conversation with Ibuka is Daniela. Ibuka had told Daniela that we've heard from Khalid, from Dotu and from Adekunli that where does she stand in that square? Now, according to Daniela, she stands with herself. She does not choose anybody yet until she gets out of the house. Sebika had asked her if she chooses um, Khalid, and she said until they have a conversation outside the house. So, guys, now here we deal. Whatever they show us on social media after the show, that is what we'll get. All right? Anyways, to wrap up tonight's show, Ibuka had given the housemates, you know, some very, very encouraging words. He had first told them to wipe their tears and be happy because, guys, they are the finalists. Officially, guys, we have a top six this season. Yes, I'm excluding Cheesy and Rachel because, of course, we know that they are fake housemates, biggest agents and riders. Yes, so officially, we have our top six for this season and by next week sunday by this same time yes we're gonna be crowning the winner of this season of the big brother ninja season seven level up edition so according to ebuka they should have fun they should enjoy themselves and also encourage themselves that they stand the chance of emerging the winner next week so ladies and gentlemen the question is who is your money on who are you voting for go ahead and share with us in the comment section below and also let me know if you're satisfied with the evictees of tonight, with how the eviction happened tonight. Just go ahead and share with me your first impressions, your first reactions in the comment section below. And guys, don't forget that on Wednesday by 7 p.m. WAT, we're gonna be converging on this channel to discuss more 
about tonight's live eviction show and many more. Now, guys, major, major news from Multi Choice, from African Magic, from the organizers of Big Brother Ninja. The voting lines for the grand finale opens tonight. As a matter of fact, it's already open. It opened at exactly 8 p.m. WAT, so you can start voting your winner. Whoever you want to emerge the winner this season, guys, you can start voting. You already know how to vote. If you don't know how to vote, visit the African Magic website for more details about that. And tomorrow, according to Epica, there's going to be a dinner um, meeting or party, whatever, with the housemates by 7 p.m. WAT. Ladies and gentlemen, do not miss out. That said, this is where I'm going to end this particular episode of Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah. Thank you all so much for watching and have an amazing night's rest. Bye.